Capricorns, Capricorns, welcome to Sag and Sun if the crown fits. Baby, let's see what's going on for you, okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for my Capricorn Collective? What's going on? Say what you really feel, Capricorn. Stop holding it in. Okay? You need to speak some type of truth. Yeah, you holding it in. Some of you guys could be isolating yourselves, just pulling back from folks. Some of y'all could just be brushing shit under the rug. It's time for you to be heard. You're going to have to stand up and speak what you feel. You got feelings too, and they matter. They do. Just period. All right, let's see what's going on with my Capricorn. Baby, see you hold Listen. You holding back what you feel possibly because of family or because of beliefs, but you can't do that, man, because I feel like somebody could be going through some type of depression or they could just be real sad, afraid to say what it is they need to say. Now, some of you guys could be witnessing an injustice happen, but you're like, man, I'm just going gonna, gonna to stay out of it. I'm going to keep what I'm what I see to myself because I don't want to get no drama started or I don't want everybody to come up against me. I don't know what this is, man. Yeah, it's something going on behind the scene. Look, there you go, Capricorn. Listen to me, man. You got to say what you feel because you and your feelings about something and you need to voice that. It's like one little mistake that you make, people look at you like the outcast or something. And maybe you got, okay, so this is what I'm picking up. So just take it how it resonates. Maybe you got other siblings that do the same damn thing, but it's not that bad when they do it. But when you do it, all hell break loose and everybody talking about it. And and because we saw that hermit card, whatever's going on, it's got you feeling isolated. You know what I'm saying? Um, But it's like you be the first one. As soon as something good happen, you, happen to you, you be the first one that's going to share with everybody. Something, I also feel something coming in for you. Why I want to cry right now? What the fuck is going on? Capricorn, what is going on, baby? I feel like this. I feel like God know your heart. And I feel like God done heard your prayers. And I know ain't nobody perfect. And we all made mistakes. It's all about the intentions of the heart. Okay? I'm also hearing something about you 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 gotta let go of what has happened to you in the past or what you've done in the past. You gotta let go of that. And maybe you have, or maybe you can't let go of it because family or, or people around you keep bringing it up. They keep wanting to look at you based on your past. And it's not allowing you to fully step into who you wanna be or to who you truly are right now. Some of you guys maybe got it to move away from the people around you, there could be a Scorpio or a Taurus around you that ain't no good. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like everything is about to change. With the Death card, a death could have changed someone or some type of spiritual awakening could be happening here. Mm, what in the world? Yeah, some type of healing. It's going to happen. But I'm hearing a prophet is not a prophet in their own home. So whatever this is that you want to do, you get, you can't do it where you are. Because of the energy. There's a lot of negative energy around with the moon and the, the devil card here. With this knight of swords, it's like people sending shit at you. People lashing out at you. I feel like you can feel what's going on. People, maybe... People ain't saying nothing to you, but you can feel it. You know motherfuckers is being fake. You know what I'm saying? And you need to speak up and you need to be heard. Fuck all that shit. I knew it. Something amazing is getting ready to happen for you, man. I don't know what in the fuck this is. Ooh. Someone may have passed a long time ago. You, you might need to look into that. Because there's some money there for you that people want to keep. Could be a Scorpio. Somebody wanted to keep that secret. A family wanted to keep that shit hidden from you, Capricorn. There's money out there for you. And some of y'all could be struggling right now and y'all ain't supposed to be. Now, damn it, let's get these, uh, these cards right here and see what's going on. Somebody passed away a long time ago. 
or recently, I don't know, take it how it resonates. But there's something in there for you that somebody tried to take your name up out of it. Yes, they did now. Yo, bad health. Somebody could have died of old age or somebody could have got sick. But there's great fortune. There was a will left. Listen to you, girl. I've been picking up on this shit for the longest. That was a will left. And here you are, struggling like a motherfucker. Get what spirit say. Your whole motherfucking life in the chain. Some of y'all gonna have enough money to start your own damn business. Listen to me now. Some of y'all might get, uh, an official person might come to you with this information. Or you need to look into it. You need to look into what's going on. Now, with the occupation here, some of you guys might have a business partner. They might get sick, pass. This business might be left to you or something. I don't know what in the fuck is going on. But I am feeling the energy of you leaving. You need to leave and get up out of whatever this is, okay? Yeah, you might have to go to court about this money. Might have to go to court about this money, man. Look at that. Wealthy man. Capcorn towards a Virgo. I'm telling y'all, that's what this is. We saw that death card. What's that? Thought gift. But there's a false ass female that did not want you to have this money. They didn't want you to have this money. You got a gift coming to you. Period. Y'all need to look into it. Could be left by an older gentleman, an older man, a mature man, who... They could have been very wise or they could have had a lot of stuff. Something like that, y'all. What else going on for my Capricorn? It's not just, well, I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't got the right. Yes, the fuck you do got the right. You need to be assertive right here. You need to be heard. Mm, what's that? Yeah, because it's a, it's a lot of high honor around you. It's a lot of protection around you. These motherfuckers might end up going to jail for t uh, stealing your stuff. What else, dear? Oh, what's that? You you could be the child of the person who passed. What is going on? You could be the child of the person who passed away. And you could be struggling like a motherfucker with this poverty card right here. Some of you guys could be homeless or just not knowing, you know, from one minute to the next what's going to happen. Great fortune is here. There's a gift for you. Oh, and now you know what I'm getting here too? If you had a dad to pass away and you was the child, but that money went to his wife, his wife could be getting ready to pass away. And that shit going to come out. That money going to come to you. Something like that could be a house. It could be a house and a few thousand dollars. I ain't saying it's going to make you rich, but it's going to change your life. Might be enough to open your little business. Some type of gift coming to you, period. Period. This could have been a long time coming. I'm getting real sad and I'm hearing that same song that I heard in Libra's reading. A Change Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. So I don't know what this is, but damn, man. Oh, yes, you will. Okay, what's that? Courthouse. Yeah, man. See, these motherfuckers stole something. They stole something. I don't even know who these people is, but it's pissing me off because it's really got me over here in my feelings. Okay, I'm kind of sad about what this is that's going on because I knew they either hid it from you with the moon here or they deliberately stole this shit from you. But see, the most high God see everything. And with the will of fortune here, something is changing. Whatever was in the dark is coming to the light. If something, if this false person, whether it be man or woman, stole something from you when you was a child or something that was supposed to be yours by motherfucking law, this person is getting sick and this gift is coming to you. That's you coming out the courthouse with your papers. With your damn papers. Yeah. You about to get this message, phone call or something. What else, spirit? What else going on for my Capricorn? 
Got me over here, third day high. What that is? Concern. There could be an older man. Look, look y'all ain't listening. Listen to me. Listen to me, man. Damn. And it's a secret in the family room. Maybe they was married to someone else. And that damn, what, stepmama, stepdaddy, whoever the fuck it was. Because I feel like you was the child of this person. They didn't want you to have this damn money. Now their ass is getting sick. Something like that, man. Their sudden wealth that somebody about to get from a death. And I know it sounds bad, but I feel like the death happened a long time ago. Now, I feel like this death happened a long time ago and they just kept you away from it. There could be like a... I say, for instance, you a child, but you got a, a brother. Him and his wife could have got this damn money and, and kept you out the wheel. Or you could have a sister. Her and her husband kept you out the wheel. Something like that, man. It's a secret. Secrets in the family room. And you need to go get, you need to go dig off into this and see what's going on. Mature woman. See, community. This might be your dad's side of the family or your mama's side of the family. Whoever this is that passed away, you want to take their head to court, just period. Courthouse adjudication, you want to take their head to court and get what's rightfully yours. Because there's secrets. I promise you there's secrets going on here. Yes, man, you about to get some unexpected income. There's an old, old privileged-ass lady here who was spoiled and thought somebody in this community uh, then took something from you and it wasn't supposed to be theirs. Sudden wealth here, man. You could some of y'all could be struggling. Might not have a job, might not have no place to stay. You might be going through a lot of shit. Your life about to change, man. Alright, I don't yeah. Message of concern. These other people about to get a message of concern. Yeah, because what I'm getting is if this person, say for instance, just take Listen to me. If you had a father that passed away, but he was married to somebody else, she was able to keep that shit secret and not tell you about how your name could have been on the house, the deeds to the house, or you could have had some land. But now that her ass is getting sick, now she might have other kids. But see, something was supposed to go to you from the first death, and it didn't. So you are rightfully the next motherfucker in line. That's how something about to play out. And somebody might be going to jail for fucking with your shit. Because somebody was fucking with it. And they had no business. Oh, no, they don't have no business. But you see, God see everything, man. The most high God sees everything. Everything. Somebody got some unexpected income coming in here. I don't care if it ain't for $3,000. Somebody need it right now. Somebody need it right now. Something about, you might have to travel to, uh, I don't know why I was getting a hometown. Or maybe these people who got this money don't live where you live. Something like that is going on. I don't know who I'm picking up on, okay? But I feel like you are the child of somebody who passed away. And I feel like you could be a male. Or there's a main male involved in the situation. Yeah, some with lovers here, there could be a main male like somebody's brother who stole something. Or an uncle. There's somebody knew you were supposed to get something because you was the child. Yep, child with great fucking fortune. But it might be coming down from if your dad passed and he was still married, so that would make it your stepmama, she's getting sick. And now it's coming down to you. See, the most high God know, uh, maybe, I'm going to say it like this so y'all take it how it resonates. God know what we need, what we need. Had you got this money back then, maybe you'd have blew it. Maybe you wouldn't have none of it now. But with the wisdom that you have now, you know what to do with it. Some of y'all with 1444 on the phone. You're definitely being protected by the Most High God. And so now when you get this money, you know exactly what to do. Start your business because I, I feel like you've been going through a little struggle with that Five of Pentacles. But them days is about to be over. And this is coming in unexpected. 
Yes, yeah, sudden wealth, some type of unexpected income coming in for y'all. Okay? Something might even come out on someone's deathbed. Someone could have a terminal illness, and with this rat right here, something might come out. Somebody might tell someone where to go look for something. Someone could even be left a, a business or, I don't know, y'all. I don't know how it's going to resonate, but it will. So let me get y'all a message from Spirit. That's for my beautiful Capricorns, okay? Release and surrender. And Spirit said, there ain't nothing to worry about, man. Listen, you are safe and the situation is under perfect control of the divine. Some of y'all are going to be able to do whatever it is that you desire. Some of y'all are powerful ass light workers. Be all you got to do is visualize success. That's it. And I feel like it's because of someone's passing. Okay. All right, let's see spirit. And then I just heard if somebody does the right thing, because God sees everything. That some type of blessing is coming in for them. So I don't know what that means either. Okay. Yep. Archangel Michael is here. Ooh, new partner. So it says a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion. So pay attention to your uh to the new people that we send in your life. So somebody could come into your life with information for you about this. Somebody might just come into a shop or might run into somebody and you just spirit send people in your life archangel michael is here it says you are working very closely with with a powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation you could be at mcdonald's one day it said a chance meeting is no mistake a new partner uh, somebody gonna come in and they get to talking about things and they say oh you look familiar what's your what's your mama name and you say your mommy what's your daddy name oh my dad Oh, for real? So you got some of that estate that was left about 10 years ago. Man, nah, I ain't getting that. What? You was supposed to. Didn't you say your name was such and such? Yeah, I heard Buck. <laughs> you was supposed to. Something like that. Some type of information like that gonna come through. You got to know that that's coming from the most high. That's what the card say. Let's read all of it. A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to be to set the wheels in motion for the fruition, fruition, fruition. Y'all, I can't say it. I can't say it. Fuck it. Of your prayers, okay? Pay careful attention to new people that we send into your life. We will recognize them by your sense of famili familiarity. Did I say that right? Familiarity. Comfort and safety. Didn't I just say somebody going to come to you and say, oh, you look familiar. What's your name? What's your mama name? What's your daddy name? That's how this going to play out. For somebody, it might not be but one person out there. It's going to play out like that because whoever this is I'm talking to, they really sensitive. But they don't let a lot of it out. They hold a lot in. But God knows everything you're going through. And I feel like you didn't have a rough hand of card, cards being dealt to you. And a lot of shit wasn't fair. But God keep counting all of that. And one thing for showing two things for certain, the scales must be balanced. And it may not come when we want it, but it's always right on time. Okay? Listen, man, I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Whatever this is, it's going to be a blessing in disguise. And you deserve it. And you know you do. You know you do. You've been through a lot. Look at you. This is the wounded warrior. You've been through trials and tribulations, but you still have not given up. And, and this life right now, it's about to get good, baby. It's about to get good. New life. And you see spirit right there? That's the most high God right there. Somebody going to wake up in a whole new life whenever they get this information. So just be mindful of the people that just have random conversations with. Because you're going to get some information that you need. And then you do your um, due, di due diligence when you get that information. Okay? Till next time. Bye.